Hello everyone, this is Elson from the IoT Project.com. Today in this video, we will learn how to make LoRa based wireless weather station which can be powered by 3.7 volt battery. This is the weather station that I have kept at the top of the roof and I am using BME280 sensor along with BH1750 light sensor and rain sensor. Basically, this weather station is monitoring the environment parameters like temperature, humidity, pressure, altitude, dew point, rainfall and light intensity. Using the LoRa, I am able to monitor the data from few kilometer distance. This is the gateway located indoor inside my farmhouse. The gateway is made using LoRa and ESP32 development board. The receiver collects the data from sender and upload it to the server. I have designed three systems all together for this weather monitoring system. First one is web server. Using the local IP address, you can monitor the weather station data on your web browser, either in your PC or smartphone. You just need to refresh the page to retrieve the data. And the second way to monitor the weather station data is through ThingSpeak server. The ThingSpeak server is free and you can simply sign in and configure your dashboard to monitor the data in graphical format as shown here. This is the best way to collect and store the weather station data online. So well, the third method is using through the Blink application. In this method, the ESP32 LoRa gateway connects to the Blink server and pushes the data immediately when it retrieves interrupt. The parameters like temperature, humidity, rainfall, dew point, light index can be monitored on the smartphone. So you can choose any of the method to monitor the weather station data. Such a great wireless weather station so that you can make it yourself. So without doing any delay, let's get started. So components and circuit connection required for this project. Let's begin with the node circuit first. I selected a low power Arduino board for that I used Arduino Pro Mini that is powered by 3.3 volt and runs on 8 MHz clock frequency. The BME280 can be used to measure the temperature, humidity, atmospheric pressure, altitude and also dew point. So the BH1750 embedded sensor measures the light intensity in love. The rain sensor measures the value of rainfall in percentage. The LoRa module that I use is SX1278 from AI Thinker. The BH1750 sensor and BME280 sensor works on I2C protocol and LoRa SX1278 works on the SPI protocol. The device is powered by 3.7 volt lithium ion battery and is connected to the raw pin of Pro Mini. On the gateway side, we only have LoRa module SX1278 and ESP32 Wi-Fi module. LoRa is connected through the SPI pins and this unit is powered through the USB cable. So you can see here I am at my farmhouse which is almost 700 meter away from my house. I have kept this sender node at the roof of my house. The circuit is assembled on the breadboard. You need to place this device inside the waterproof case except the rain sensor to monitor the amount of rainfall. The sensor node operates on very small power and putting the device into the sleep mode will increase the battery life. Also, removing the unnecessary voltage regulators and using low power LDO or bog converter IC, it can lower down the power consumption further. The LoRa module operates on frequency 432 MHz but you can select 868 or 915 MHz frequency according to your region. You can use any other LoRa module that are available in your region having different antennas and frequency. Remember this is not a waterproof device so place it inside the waterproof casing. So this is the gateway unit placed inside my room. 
which is 700 meter away from my node. The ESP32 Wi-Fi module is connected to the local Wi-Fi network and the LoRa receives the data from the sensor node. Using the ESP32 Wi-Fi module, the data is uploaded to the server. Now let's see the coding part. The code is for LoRa sender and the web server receiver. Let's see the sender node first. We are using few libraries like LoRa libraries, BME280 and BH1750 library. Then we are defining the LoRa frequency at 433 MHz. The range sensor analog pin is defined here. Then we create the instances for BME280 and B1750 sensor. We are assigning a string and also the device ID for identification. Under the setup function, we are initializing the LoRa and all other sensors. Under the void loop function, we are calculating the temperature, pressure, altitude and humidity from library. Similarly, using some mathematical calculation, we are deriving the value of dew point. For calculating dew point, the parameters is defined below in the code. Then we are converting the analog value to the percentage in order to create the rainfall value using the map function. Check your minimum and maximum analog value for the sensor. It may vary in your case. Using this formula, we are measuring the light intensity from BH1750 library. Then we are putting the data on the serial monitor. Using the LoRa message string, we are combining all the variables into the single variables separated by some characters and finally using this function we are transmitting the data packets wirelessly now let's just see the gateway code we are again using the lora library using the web server library to create the web server similarly we are defining the ss rst and d10 pin then we are defining the string for each individual parameter using this wi-fi ssid and password we will connect to the Wi-Fi network. For handling the web server request, we use the function called server.on and server.on not found. Then we have started the web server. If packets is received, we are forging the data depending upon the index position. Here the individual parameter is extracted and printed on the serial monitor. Then this data is handled by the server handler client. All the remaining function and HTML codes are given below. The HTML code will simply create a web page and display the weather station data on page. Okay, now you can upload the code to the Arduino Pro Mini and ESP32 board. Once the code is uploaded, open the serial monitor for both the transmitter and receiver. If every connection are correct, the sender will initialize and start sending the data. On the receiver side, the receiver will connect to the network and will print the IP address. Copy the IP address and paste it on the web browser. The weather station data will be simply displayed in the web browser. You can reload the page to automatically refresh it or simply using the Ajax function in the code. You can refresh the data without reloading the page. So that's all about the web server part. Now let's monitor the weather station data on Thingspeak IoT platform. For that create an account on Thingspeak server or simply login if you have created the account earlier. Then create a new channel. With the following details like temperature, humidity, pressure, altitude, dew point, rainfall and light intensity. Then go to the API key and copy the right API key. Now let's see the receiver's code. Now in this code simply change the API key from here. You need to replace it with your Thingspeak channel API key. Change the Wi-Fi SSID and password. Rest of the codes are same. So just move to this part. We are sending the data to the Thingspeak server by defining the field and string value. That's all for this coding part. So upload the code to the ESP32 Wi-Fi module. Now again open the serial monitor. If you see the data is sent and received means your node and gateway both are working properly. Now go to the Thingspeak private view. Here you will see all the data logged in in a graphical format. The data received after the interval of 15 seconds but you can increase the delay. Finally let's see the Blink part code. In this code we are using Blink libraries. 
rest of the codes are almost same we are just assigning the blink dot run function and here we are assigning the virtual pin to send the data to the blink server but make sure to change the blink authentication token from your mobile application so now let's configure the blink mobile app After completing all these, upload the code to your ESP32. Now open the serial monitor, the ESP32 will connect to the Blink server. Now you can check in a mobile phone, the mobile phone will receive the weather station data. You can again change the delay in the code to receive the data frequently as you want. Well, this is how we can make the IoT based wireless weather station. I hope you like this video. So thanks for watching, it's me Elson signing off for today, see you soon on the next one.